Have you ever wondered what it means to be neither fully male nor fully female? What if nature wasn't as binary as we once thought? Welcome to the world of hermaphroditism and intersex, where biology and identity converge in the most fascinating ways. From the depths of the ocean to the human genome, let's embark on a journey that challenges our understanding of gender, biology, and what it truly means to be human. In the natural world, hermaphroditism is not only common, but also a fascinating strategy for survival. Imagine an earthworm slithering through the soil, carrying both male and female reproductive organs. This isn't a mutation or an anomaly, it's a perfectly natural state. And then there's the clownfish, made famous by the movie Finding Nemo. These creatures are sequential hermaphrodites. They start life as males, but when the dominant female dies, the largest male transforms into a female to maintain the social structure. It's a perfect example of nature's fluidity. But hermaphroditism isn't limited to the animal kingdom. Many plants are simultaneous hermaphrodites, meaning they possess both male and female reproductive organs at the same time. This dual capability ensures their survival, especially in environments where finding a mate can be challenging. Take a look at this flower. Those tiny, intricate structures are a marvel of evolutionary engineering, allowing plants to self-pollinate or cross-pollinate, depending on what's most advantageous. Human history is filled with references to hermaphroditism. Ancient texts and artworks often depicted figures with both male and female attributes. In some cultures, these individuals were revered, believed to possess special powers or divine qualities. One of the most famous stories comes from Greek mythology, Hermaphroditus, the child of Hermes and Aphrodite, who possessed both male and female physical traits. This mythological figure symbolizes the blending of genders and has influenced cultural narratives for centuries. Fast forward to modern times, and our understanding of hermaphroditism has become more scientific. In the medical field, the term hermaphroditism has largely been replaced by intersex. Intersex is an umbrella term that covers a variety of conditions where a person's reproductive or sexual anatomy doesn't fit typical definitions of male or female. Let's break down some of these conditions. Androgen insensitivity syndrome, AIS, a person with XY chromosomes develops predominantly female characteristics because their body can't respond to male hormones. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia, CAH. Individuals with XX chromosomes might develop ambiguous genitalia due to overproduction of male hormones. Kleinfelter syndrome, males with an extra X chromosome XXY may experience various physical and reproductive issues. Turner syndrome. Females with only one X chromosome face unique developmental challenges. Intersex individuals often face significant social and ethical challenges. One of the most controversial issues is the medical intervention performed on intersex infants and children to make their bodies conform to typical male or female standards. Advocates argue for delaying such surgeries until the individual can make an informed decision. Legal recognition is another critical issue. Some countries are beginning to acknowledge a third gender category or allowing individuals to change their legal gender to reflect their identity. This is a crucial step towards inclusivity and recognition of human diversity. To truly understand the intersex experience, we need to listen to the voices of those who live it. Personal stories are powerful tools for education and empathy. Many intersex individuals have bravely shared their journeys advocating for rights, acceptance, and understanding. Organizations around the world are working tirelessly to support intersex individuals, raise awareness, and promote human rights. These efforts are paving the way for a more inclusive society where everyone, regardless of their biological differences, can live with dignity and respect. Nature's diversity is its greatest strength, and this applies to humans as well. Embracing the spectrum of gender and biological diversity can enrich our understanding of what it means to be human. By educating ourselves and others, we can foster a more inclusive world where everyone is valued for who they are. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video to spread awareness and join the conversation. Let's create a world where every person, regardless of their biology, can thrive. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, stay compassionate, and see you in the next video.